Hey, thanks for joining us here on The Fierce Life. I'm your host, John Mogul. This week on The Hunt, we're in the far north. We are in northern Saskatchewan hunting giant whitetails with our good buddy, Todd Rollick of True North Trophy Hunts. Todd, Todd told us uh, a lot of the activity they've been experiencing in the afternoon, so that's what we're hoping for here. Our setups here in this box blind, uh, we've got a heated box blind. We're overlooking this uh, hay, this, I don't know if it's hay, or we're overlooking this field here. We've got shots out to 550 yards. Um, so if we catch a glimpse of a big buck that looks good, we're gonna drop the hammer tonight shooting the CT Rival. It's my, my gun of choice lately, the CT Rival in 6.5 PRC, of course, shooting Hornady ammunition. And uh, I think if a big buck steps out, he's in trouble. So we're gonna get in the blind and glass, put our eyes to work, and hopefully one of these big guys will come out. That just got sent to me by our good buddy Omar that owns Precision Optics up here in Canada. That is a stinking giant. I'm pretty sure this is the deer that Bert, old Bert Nap, passed up this morning. He didn't think this deer would go 200 inches. What do you think? I think that deer's all at 220 all day long. But, you know, those Texas guys, Deer's got stuff going everywhere. This deer is freaking awesome. He's got junk going everywhere. Look at this deer. He is absolutely gorgeous. Big hammer. It's the first buck we've seen, so I want to see what else is in here. Well, it's the first night up here, and the deer aren't lasting long. The boys out in the uh, blinds are not holding out. Bert, old AKA Bert Nap, just sent the text on this freaking whopper. Look at the eye guards on that thing. Holy crap. Mass. I can see why he couldn't hold off that. This a giant. Wow. Two down tonight. Bert, Bert Nap Ferris, up here with a fierce life. I'm hunting in Alberta, Canada. Just took this bruiser my 6.5 PRC. Uh, Mogul and the boys are off on another side of the ranch hunting. Um, uh, but um, I was looking for something more typical. This thing came out. I mean, what a beautiful animal. I mean, look at, look at this. It's just amazing. Um, as you can tell from my breathing, I'm still pretty jacked up. But what a great hunt, great people, and uh, just having a wonderful time up here with the Fierce Life in Canada. That's a tank. That's badass. <laughs> I'm 
So yesterday we saw this guy came out with two other large white tail. They all three got on top of each other. Could never get a shot on them. Thought about it all night while I was sleeping. Uh, we came out this morning. Yeah, I, I mean, they both walked out at the same time and I, I, was, I had in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna take that, that typical when they come out. Then he came back out. I was like, I, I can't get over that third beam. I've got. It. I just can't. Well, I, he's probably a little heavier mass-wise. Yeah, he was definitely heavier. I mean, a little bit. This is a big deer too. A big heavy bastard. So they started what walking. Do this I, I look at Benny. He's like, Drink you ready? He's like, yeah. Oh, he was so on buckle. Like, oh, got up yeah, at like eight. Hi. Oh, damn, nice. That's fierce, fierce school uh, graduate right here. <laughs> Are when you, you shot him, did you go ahead and put a second one in and get ready, Jeff? I did. I was ready immediately. Checked with the camera. Hey, sure I will tell you for the second shot. I'll tell you their story because I was over here in our blind. We hear a shot. Oh, yeah, Jeff got one. And then all of a sudden, like, I ain't shit. It was like 10 minutes. It felt like yeah. 10 minutes yeah. later. We hear another shot from Jeff's blind direction. It's like, there's a problem over there. Something, something's he going was, on he over was Jeff's standing blind. there drunk right in front of that other big one. And so he's just standing there, like we're watching him. His eyes are, <laughs> eyes are going in and out. Death like, wobble. I was like, he's about to fall. And then he just starts turns and walks away. And I was like, all right, you ready? He's like, yeah, boom. Hit him again. And then he, he folded. Yeah, yeah. I was excited. Let's go. Let's put him in the stall. You know, I'm ready. Double. Yeah, yeah. Down here. Kind of still, that's what I like. I don't have a deer that's still got dirt on <laughs> He's here. 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 He's So anyhow, from that video footage, you could see that buck didn't react like he was hit. So we, you know, this is where he went in. So let's see if we can find him. I'm hoping he just hit the tree line right here and piled up. So let's check it out. Well, hey, here he is right here. Like I said, he didn't go far. Uh, I was hoping he was gonna hit this tree line if I hit him and, and be done, but he is a monster. Monster. Let me get Omar. Omar, come over in here with me. Omar was in the blind. We've got uh, man Omar this morning. We saw deer, this buddy. buck, huh? Hell of a deer. When this yeah. come out, you, you was like, that's a monster. But Omar, he uh, owns Precision Optics up here in Canada, and uh, you know, just does a great job selling fierce rifle, rifles for us. But have you hunted whitetail all your life? Uh, no, I have not. This is the first real time that I've hunted boy tail this caliber no kidding yeah he's a big sheep hunter but man what did you think of the experience oh, it's amazing to yeah. see these animals and hang out with you it's yeah what's better yeah we've had a great like time good, com good camaraderie and as you can see right here this is just a giant like uh i've came up here several times with true north trophy hunts just shot some big old non-typical hammers and and I, I kind of had my sight set on a typical this year, and I think uh, this is about as typical as I've seen I so think, far. I think out you here. got it. Yeah. yeah in so. spades. Yeah. So it was a, one of those weird kill shots shooting my CT rival 6.5 PRC. Made a great shot, but man, usually these deer go right down. I did not do the shoulder. Did a behind the shoulder shot. He just walked into the woods and went luckily to went to sleep. So. We've had a great hunt here at True North Trophy Hunts. If any of you are looking to, you know, harvest a big monster whitetail, this is the place to come. And uh, thanks for coming up with us, bud. You're welcome. Appreciate we'll call it. this one the Dirt Snooze. We'll call this the Dirt Snooze for sure. Omar <laughs> shot a nice buck earlier. We're going to show some uh, photos of his buck, but uh, just a great time. So, anyhow, thanks for being with us here on the Fear Side.